as much as 20% of the surface area of mitochondria is associated with endoplasmic reticulum in specialized regions known as mitochondria-associated membranes, or MAMs. While the membranes of the ER and mitochondria do not fuse, they are tethered together by both lipids and proteins, which may be permanent or temporary, and separated by about 10 to 25 nanometers. Studies suggest that about a thousand different proteins may be expressed at the mitochondria-associated membranes, and these proteins may vary from cell type to cell type. These proteins perform a variety of functions, including the regulation of calcium levels, the synthesis of lipids, and the triggering of apoptosis or programmed cell death. While most mitochondrial proteins are synthesized in the cytosol, most mitochondrial lipids are synthesized in the ER and transported to the mitochondria at the mitochondria-associated membranes. The metabolic pathways of these lipids can be complex. For example, phosphatidylserine is synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum, transported to the mitochondria, where it is converted into phosphatidylethanolamine, which is then transported back to the endoplasmic reticulum, where it is metabolized into phosphatidylcholine, which is then transported back to the mitochondria. Many of the proteins located at the mitochondria-associated membranes function in lipid metabolism. Calcium signaling regulates many aspects of cellular physiology. Given that the endoplasmic reticulum is the cell's major store of calcium, and the mitochondria are one of the major cell effectors for calcium levels, both for ATP production and also with an excess of calcium, even programmed cell death, that the mitochondria-associated membranes contain many proteins involved in the transport of calcium. Calcium is required for multiple enzymes of cellular respiration pathways and regulates the rate of ATP production. Thus, the endoplasmic reticulum can alter the production of ATP by altering the release of calcium at the mitochondria-associated membranes for uptake into the mitochondria. This could be tied to overall cellular physiology or tied to events specific to the ER. For example, the unfolded protein response, or UPR, in which unfolded or misfolded proteins are accumulating, triggers the release of additional calcium ions to the mitochondria, which increases ATP production, which then improves the cell's ability to properly fold protein, as this ATP can be used for that purpose. Excessive release of calcium from the ER to the mitochondria is the trigger for the mitochondrial release of apoptotic signaling molecules, such as cytochrome C, and caspases, which activate the caspase cascade, which triggers programmed cell death, or apoptosis. This excessive release of calcium from the ER could be in response to a number of stimuli, including the accumulation of excessive amounts of misfolded proteins in the ER, signaling that this is an abnormal cell which needs to be destroyed to prevent cancerous growth. 